Hey, it's H here, and on today's video, we're checking out Cosmos or Atom. Um, let's get right into it. So this is on Binance chart, and this scribble down here is the price action history from Coinbase chart, as Binance chart didn't have it. The reason why I have it here is just because the Coinbase chart had a small amount of more price data here, and the highest high of this move here was eight. 0.31. Now the reason again I have it because it overlaps here. It's some kind of support zone um, that has been previously tested uh, here is uh, rejected and now it turned into support. Now this also affects some Elliott Wave counts. Basically only the case would be thinking this was a whole impulse wave. So this cannot be one, two, three, four, just because this is overlapping. It still could be some kind of diagonal, but as we don't have price data back here, these are really hard uh, things to think about and even project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the all time low of this chart. And that is here, March 2020. Now uh, I can take this off for now and here is the basic structure that I can see. Now um, let's check the RSI, highest point here for the third wave and this is for intermediate, uh, intermediary degree. So one, two, three, four, five into primary one. Now. The thing I don't like about this is the 4 is similar to 2. The wave structure is both on WXY and the time it took here is not that much. I like the placement of 2 purely since the time, time placement and it fits these areas. Now one would argue it could be here as well but then placing 1212 possibly here would make this other other count here a bit different and would wouldn't be as good looking as it is currently. So I would argue this is the most likely scenario that I have here for this primary one at least. Now the primary two down here is again it is super short which is another issue I don't like here. Um, the time it took was so small that it doesn't register well. See here is the normal times for wave two of primary. Now this could mean that we're still developing the two and this move here was just some kind of wave A or wave X before we go up and then down again. Now we can look if that would be the case we can look for some targets just right here that, I didn't get that snap here And as you see on at least on logarithmic scale we haven't even come close uh, close to anything not even 0.5 now on arithmetic scale we did we did plenty we got right around the 786 golden zone or golden pocket would be here and we just ran straight through it um, Supporting this count somewhat is that there is a bump on the volume profile here as well, but that is just one option. So let's get moving since we've got a couple of different counts here. Well, let's remove that as well. Now, um, also, what doesn't really 
go with this count is the fact that like so. Now this is on logarithmic scale and as you can imagine this was a huge move on arithmetic scale. On logarithmic scale it didn't even hit the 1 to 1 which mm, is not a problem as long as the fifth is smaller than third as a third wave can never be can never be the shortest so it should be fine we can check out the log on arithmetic scale chart and on here we can see that it came more than 2.618 which is fine now the next thing i wanted to show you is Let's, let's go with this one first. I know it looks like a mess, but <laughs> it, it is not. It's only because I got so many uh, subwaves here labeled in, it looks kind of messy. But the main thing here that we can look is that we got the one, two. Let's get this bigger. So primary one, two, and then we got one, two, three, four, five. I labeled this as intermediary one. Basically, um, on the same principle as this is a intermediary one, it almost gets to the same amount of movement. So that is the reason of this degree. It could be minor as well, but this is, way, this is the way I like it currently. Now, pretty simple count up here. Um, there's a zigzag on two and a uh, this looks like running running flat on four so there's uh, alteration between them um, again here we need to go to smaller time frame to see but just another five way move onto the fifth now here is the, <laughs> the charts that I had Plot it down, we don't need to go into specifics. We can check out the minute count for example. So we got W, X, Y into W of minor. Then uh, again W, X, Y into X and W where's the X? It's right there. And to go again a smaller time frame to see it properly. And into Y of minor into two of intermediary. Now, there might be different ways to count this, but this is the one that I chose. One would be as well doing it something like something like this. Possible. All these things look really corrective here. Th loads of three-way moves. That's why it looks so messy. Uh, as I've gone into even sub-micro level, as you see here, these lights or pine green color I guess um, again after two we need to look for one two three four five and currently in the process of a three maybe yeah again to justify this count I went really close into micro and even sub micro to label some of these corrections uh, these impulsive moves looked pretty convincing to be five way moves but as you know it's not always the case even though it looks like it and it might may end up um, being something else now again what can we expect this expect from this count well massive gains uh, just from here looking at this we can say this is a moon boy count. If we put primary one two here, this is going to be massive. Remember, before this has to happen, or this primary three even happening, we need to get the intermediary count going. And here it's just a one two. Oops, let me make it with the fib tool actually and not labeling it. So again, color it according to this count so one two where do we expect it and here then we would have pullback 
uh, let's say here and a fifth somewhere higher and that only there would be the third of primary now this is lo on logarithmic scale and this would <laughs> mean some serious uh, funding from something and we can check these on non-logarithmic scale and that those will make these targets way more maybe realistic we can check this as well and the three would be here eighty dollars now from eight thirty dollars to eighty dollars that's two and a half x already now we still got <laughs> the smaller time frame count here and this is the my um minute count um, this is not on logarithmic so we can see 1618 would come up here on arithmetic would go to $60 so 2x only with oh, sorry this should be yellow and now then again currently if we are making let's go to oops, smaller time frame um, here I was plotting down some small time frame count maybe being one two but this is such a short short uh, correction that I'm not sure if it is correct um, we can check out here would be the third so maybe that is just the one and then two but then again this is smaller yeah it doesn't re really look too convincing um, but this looks impulsive here this structure and this is some kind of a zigzag for sure now here what this is I'm not sure at the moment but as this develops I'm sure we'll get some kind of answer and what we're currently looking for is this and this would be my new scale wherever in my top again this uh, minor two did a really deep retrace here and that is well pretty normal for crypto but doing it like almost 93% of the previous move it's not really likely so that's why this can definitely be something else be part of something some other structure maybe w x y into here in any case we can check out other and this is actually the same count ultra pool um but yeah there's those targets i think put that there and hide it there's also another option of uh, some kind of triangle forming here but this is something that I just couldn't figure out how to put into account um, these do seem that they can be a uh, zigzags all of them well actually as I'm saying that's this doesn't really look like zigzaggy Why? Because there's a retrace here. This can be A, B. Let's check it out because uh, zigzags should never retrace to more than 90%. Yeah. And this would make it flat. And, hmm. Well, we can just keep this count in mind as well. But yeah, I think those are the the normal views what you could expect on atom if it comes down below these targets is around $20 um, then I think 
this whole structure here is part of this wave 2 primary and we could see more pullback again um, there's not a lot of support down here on this part neither on this um, major support here again as there's price action before it but for now this is my count and uh, I'm going to roll with it so thanks for watching and let me know if you had have some other count or if you have some other other coin that you would like me to take a look at thanks for watching see ya